Hello everyone. Good morning. Um, I'd like to share something with you this morning. Uh, it's about changing your mindset when things don't go your way. You see, this morning I had woken up very early and I wanted to go for a swim, so I had to drive to the pool. But I was very, very sleepy, and mainly due to the fact that I was staying up late reading. So. What I did, I mean, initially I was feeling bad, and I was like, oh, beating myself about it. Then I decided to change my mindset. Since I couldn't go swim, I thought I'd do something else, and thus my morning is still productive. So what I've decided to do this morning is uh, cook an early morning breakfast, and it's called upma, which is a South, in- which is a traditional South Indian breakfast dish. Upma is made of uh, made from semolina. Semolina is a uh, is indeed very nutritious because um, it contains um, it's a, it has a high protein content. It has uh, many of the B vitamins. It has uh, um, folate and I think magnesium as well. So it is very nutritious to cook uh, semolina for breakfast, especially if you uh, include vegetables in in your upma. So let me show you how to make. A traditional South Indian uh, breakfast dish called upma. This is the way I make upma. I'm not a chef, but this is basically how I do it. Okay, so I put, add some oil into the pot. I use coconut oil, and I would also be using ghee later, but not now. So. And then I'm going to add some mixed spices. This is uh, cumin, mustard seeds, and urad dal, all mixed together. Split urad dal. Okay, a bit of that. Now that it's already heated and it's um, popping and spluttering, okay. Now you can add these ingredients. So I'm going to turn off the heat because it's a bit hot. So chopped onions, put that in. Chopped ginger, chopped green chili. Dry chilies, curry leaves. Okay. Give a little stir. I turn up the heat now. Sometimes electric stoves can be a little um, too hot. Okay. I'm going to add some cashew nuts. You, well, this is how my mom would do it. I was a little lazy today, so you know it's the whole cashew nut. It's supposed to be like that. It, there's no no uh, way that it's the real you know way, but I suppose if you split it, you could see you know what's inside and so on. Anyway, my cashew nuts and these are raisins. All of it in here. So now I think I'm going to add a little bit of ghee. It depends on how you know how you want it. You don't have to. There's no real hard and fast rule. I'm going to put a tablespoon of ghee in here. It tastes nicer. Okay. Now I'm going to saute some chopped carrots. Put 
chop uh, chop red capsicum. So as you can see, I'm adding vegetables inside, so it becomes a more um, nutritious breakfast dish. It's not just several enough flour, which is which also contains a lot of carbohydrate inside and calories. And this one, which is chopped green uh, capsicum. Now I, I intend to use two cups of semolina. This is one cup. I'm going to use two cups of semolina. So I would need to use about four cups of liquid. So that so that um, I'm going to put three cups of, of water and one cup of milk. That's the way my mom makes it. So I guess I don't know whether most people use milk, but my mom uses milk. I think it just gives it a bit more richness or something. Okay, now you don't want to overcook the vegetables, so here go. Um, no, no, I think you put the water in first. No, no, I think I'm going to just add this one in here. Yeah. One cup, two cups of semolina. Give it a very quick stir. And then you add the water. Yeah, a little bit of salt. What this much of salt? Maybe a little bit more. And then water. So I have one, two. Just gonna give it a bit of a stir. Semolina can be a little clumpy sometimes, so you just gonna stir it. Let's make sure it doesn't. Uh, Stick at the bottom of the pot so you lower your flame. I'm going to turn it off and now a cup of milk. A cup of milk. Okay. Semolina will stick to the bottom of the pot, so we have to be very careful. We have to put it in very low flame. Oh, by the way, the semolina has already been uh, roasted. So whenever I buy semolina flour, I roast the flour and I keep it in a container. So I just dry roast the flour and keep it because that way it lasts longer. And also whenever you use semolina, you, um, I don't know, it's just like some kind of practice that you're supposed to dry it, so you're supposed to roast it before um, it's used. Now, while this sort of cooks, I'm going to add a bit more salt to this. Um, and I think this. Ladle is not going to do the trick. I need to get something a bit um, harder, a bit uh, more strong, like this one. A metal, metal stirrer. Yeah. 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 Well, it cooks. Sometimes, if the water, like you know, it, see, can you see this? See that the semolina, you can see the little white dots there. It's not done yet. So if I feel like I need to put in a little bit of water, sometimes I'll just add a little bit more. Depending on how quickly it cooks. So this is like less than a cup of water. And a little bit of tea. So 
I keep my semolina like this, it's roasted and kept in a container. So this semolina that I store in a container, it has been roasted prior to storing. So this way I'm able to keep this semolina for a longer time. It has been like roasted to a very light golden color. And I don't know, my, mom's, my mom does this and I just do it as well because uh, it tends to last longer as well. So now the ukma is done. You can see that, it's, that it, there, are, um, there is a little bit sticking to the bottom of the pot. But it's not too much so it's okay. And can you see that it's... Um, it's kind of, you can't see the little white dots. I don't know whether you can see it. You see that you can't really see the little white dots. So that means it's cooked. Now I'm just going to fluff it up a little bit with this fork and I'll be serving breakfast. So here's a plate of ukma all ready to eat. As you can see, there's a banana, a peeled banana at the side. So that's how my husband enjoys his ukma. As for me, I just like to eat it with the plain old sugar. So thank you for joining me today in making my upma dish. Um, upma is a very quick um, meal to make. My daughter makes it all the time. Uh, she studies overseas in university and she, um, she makes her upma with chunky pieces of vegetables inside. That's the way she enjoys it. So I hope you like this recipe. Please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.